Good atmosphere here tonight for this rivalry that dates back to 1888. And Williams calling for the fair catch. And Wake will start at the 25-yard line. Starting team, guys, his message, keep our foot on the gas, don't relax. Here's a good start for Justice Ellison in the Wake running game. Pressure normally, but he has seen how it's worked for Louisville and NC State the last couple of weeks. Third down in a mile. Hartman going to try and pick up as much as he can on the hoof. Gets out at the 50-yard line. Again, Storm Duck angled him out. 50% third down conversions. And May has been terrific on third and fourth down this year. There's a little slant for a first down. Bryson Nesbitt. One of the most dangerous skill player groups in all of college football. Bryson Nesbitt. We'll talk about Josh Downs, Antoine Green. Now going deep down the middle of the field. It's caught by Downs. Hook up me to Downs. There's a guy we talked about in the open. And they will line him up play everywhere. Trying to catch a water bug out there is acceleration is fantastic going with tempo and another quick first down completion this time to Antoine Green second down and eight May standing tall in the pocket fires it to Nesbitt again who's ping-ponging his way inside the 30 a pickup of nine and they'll move the chains again second down play action wide open man it's Nesbitt Dancing to the 10-yard line. This has been a playground. The red zone for May. 19 red zone touchdowns. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Looking for downs, and he's got him. Touchdown, North Carolina. So many weapons all over the field. We've had Nesbitt, we've had Green, and of course we've had Josh Downs. Reigning ACC wide receiver of the week with his ninth receiving touchdown of the year. And Noah Burnett tacks on the extra. So North Carolina gets a break. The fans are seeing it again on the Jumbotron. Hartman going the wrong way. Got rid of it. Last in the ACC in sacks and tackles for loss, but so far getting pretty good pressure on Hartman. Ivan Morin, second punt, calling for the fair catches downs at the 31. Drake May, 6 of 7, passing 83 yards and a touchdown on that first drive. Big run for Green into the secondary. And to the 44-yard line of Wake Forest. What about Elijah Green is he doesn't need a huge hole. He just needs a little bit of a crease here. Then then just hits. Very decisive run. Now this time going nowhere. He is ripped down by Rondell Bothroyd. So Wake declined the penalty. They want second down at 15. Play action. May going deep down the right sideline. Looking for Green. Oh, what a catch! Green holds it in at the five. Antoine Green. Brad Lambert, the weight defensive corner, said our secondary is going to be stressed the most we have been all year, and you already see it. Isaiah Wingfield on the coverage there. See if North Carolina can continue to take advantage. Back to the ground and walking right in is Elijah Green from five yards out. 14-0 North Carolina with a win tonight. They win the Coastal Division and so far so good. And the extra point by Noah Burnett. And that's without Noah Taylor. That's without Desmond Evans. Without some of their top guys. Picking her head here is Ellison. Pass blockers. You've got to be that in this RPO based offense. Hartman protected now, running out of time, got rid of it in time to Taylor Moore. He's got the first down and more out to the 48-yard line. Taylor Moore in that very quick slot receiver for the Deacon. Something to get some energy back on this sideline. And they just bring five here. Second down and ten. Hartman flushed out of the pocket. Coming back to the ball and catching it is A.T. Perry. Get those backs to leak through and find a hole and keep it consistent. And as we say that, Justice Ellison will move the pile and keep the drive going. Already a drastic improvement over a week ago. Hartman. And again, it's Morin. Pushed out of bounds. Another first down. Only four touchdowns in eight red zone trips the last two weeks for Wake.
Trying to punch it in here. They're going to get it to Morin. Touchdown. That looked efficient. Now Wake's back in this game. They had a bunch formation off to the left here. They get the defense condensed down in them, and then boom, everyone explodes out, and you don't know what direction they're going. And you find Taylor Morin wide open out in the flat. Morin had that terrific touchdown catch late in the first half last week against NCAA, NC State. Gave Wake a spark at the time. Speedy true freshman George Petaway back to return here for North Carolina. And Ivan Mora will boot it deep. It's actually going to be Will Hardy coming out of the end zone from a yard deep. Hardy to the middle of the field. Good return. Spins off a tackle at the 25. And on his feet past the 35-yard line. How to study the game. Those two still talk twice a week, by the way. Sam Howell prepared and studied the game in a special way. And Drake said, watching Sam watch film, the same thing over and over. Now it makes sense. Here comes the pressure. May to a wide open Downs. Beautiful comeback for Josh Downs in a first. Phil Longo, fourth year here at North Carolina. Gets the tight end involved here. Beautiful job by John Copenhaver. After the catch, tiptoeing the sideline. Carolina three for three on third down so far tonight. May will hand it off to Green again. Gets a good block, a good burst through the hole. And it's going to be close. Josh Downs, third from the top there. This is where the area of the field, he's so dangerous. May flush to his right. Man open. There is Downs. And he walks in for the touchdown. Second touchdown of the night for Josh Downs. In such a small area of space. First, you're like, where's he at? We've got to find him. And then he just kind of... And it's 21 to 7. Williams goes in motion. Hartman has time. Flings it out to Williams. And he'll lunge for the line. Did he get it? Yes, he did. North Carolina brought six. And if you want to keep a team, get them out of bringing six, make some big plays like that. Hartman will check it to the field side this time. Nice move by Jamal Banks. Avoids the first wave and then gets to the 50-yard line. That's a pickup of 15. They need the 40-yard line to keep the drive going. It'll be Turner trying to run. And he's not going to have it. Gets stacked up well short of the 40-yard line. They knew they were going to go for it here on fourth down, and it comes right now. Pressure coming. Hartman getting rid of it in time. Williams, great catch. Escapes a tackle to the middle of the field, inside the 20. There he goes. Williams to the corner, and he's out inside the five-yard line. Play on fourth and two for Wake Forest. And what a big-time throw by Sam Hartman. He gets pressure right up in his grill. Cedric Gray comes clean, but he stands tall in the pocket, delivers a great throw to Keyshawn Williams. Third down and goal to go. Turner to the goal line, but didn't break the play. Spencer Clapp is playing tight end. Turner to the end zone. Did he get in? Yes. Touchdown, Wake Forest. There's a marker down. The ruling on the field is a touchdown. Legal substitution, defense, more than 11 players on the defense. That penalty is declined. Touchdown. Friends on this one. And North Carolina was trying to sub in with this heavy package, trying to match what Wake Forest had out there. But what's the bush push by Sam Hartman? And so now Matthew Dennis will try again. And that one-pointer is Drake May has been outstanding tonight, as has his supporting cast. Very good on his feet. He'll duck down for a yard gain, maybe more. Another penalty flag comes in. We'll see if this is a... Right, his dad was a quarterback, so he was throwing and working through all those things and learning at a young age. Oh, boy, look out. May goes down. Jasheen Davis gets deep into the backfield. That's going to be a loss of 10. 
cannot afford to give up a first down on third and 14. They have not been denied on third down yet, but they will here as Davis gets home again. Two sacks on the series for Jasheen Davis. He's in back into Drake May's lap. All the way to the quarterback and gets a sack. Watch that right arm. Just shoves him, gets him off. I mean, you can see he can bend. He can get underneath the offensive lineman. He's a great player. The punt by Ben Kiernan. The Dublin, Ireland native. He bounces it into the arms of Morin, who gives Wake Forest their best starting field position. Throw that ball away, find a receiver, or tuck it and run. Hartman. Got it to Banks. And after the catch, we'll get it inside the 30-yard line. The Demon Deacons, two for two tonight on fourth down. Can they do it again? Hartman got it to Moore. Gets loose. One man to beat, but he can't beat him. What a fantastic run, route run by Taylor Moore. And comes in motion, kind of hangs behind Jamal Banks, and then squirts out, and then Banks with a good job. Allows Moore to break free. Hartman. Off the play fake, goes to the end zone, he's got his man, Donovan Green. And Wake Forest has come all the way back. And this time it's Sam Hartman using his legs, going off to the right to extend the play a little bit, and then right when Donovan Green makes... Donovan Green out of Mount Airy, North Carolina. And the extra point ties this game up. All right, so now with 4.06 to go before half, both teams with their full complement of timeouts. It'll be Elijah Green on first down, and now where to go? Isaiah Winfield. And they give you a ton of looks on the back end, and they're very active on their front, too. And there's Isaiah Winfield. Down swings back behind May again. Oh, boy, Antoine Green caught the ball but paid the price. Elijah Green in the backfield. They fake the handoff to him. Here's May coming to the near sideline. And that's caught by Gavin Blackwell, his 13th catch of the year. That'll be a first down for the Tar Heels. He's only been incomplete four times tonight. Draw. Takes off. Finds some room. Inside the 30. And out at the 20-yard line. Drake May. Defensive coordinator was worried about the most. Because it's a draw, but it's a design draw. You see Corey Gaynor, the center, coming out and blocking that. And back in the red zone where North Carolina's perfect. Three for three. They'll take a shot toward the paint, and it's caught. Touchdown. Josh Downs has the hat trick, his third touchdown catch tonight. The, the, the speed of Downs. Watch him come off the line, and then the head fake. And by the time Isaiah Wingfield turns his head back around, Carolina goes back in front. Sam Hartman bring that pressure right in his face. We've seen it often tonight from those linebackers. You see him right there in the middle of the field. Showing pressure. Here comes the blitz. Picked up nicely. Now running out of time. Hartman somehow finds an escape hatch. And he's going to be dragged down inside the 10 by Raw Raw Dilworth. Called by Gene Chizik here to get the linebackers time coming out. hot we'll up the middle. Right the of the half. Offensive line first just collapses down, and then it's just the relentlessness. Josh Downs, very dangerous, standing in midfield. Good field position. Looming here for North Carolina. Their catch called for at the 40. DJ Jones in the backfield for North Carolina. Four receivers, three to the wide side of the field. May looking to the left. He'll flip it that way to Downs. There's another catch for Josh Downs, and that's going to be a first down. You really got to tip your hat to this Wake defense. Buckling down. Yes. That's the second time in three Carolina possessions that they've been able to get off the field. Kiernan is going to try to dump this inside the 10 yard line. It checks wow. up at the five. Beautiful job by the fourth year punter from Ireland. Josh Downs in the backfield. Now he'll move to the slot. Tight end to the right. May goes to the right, and that is a first down to the big tight end, Kamari Morales. Downs has 34 catches the last two-plus games. May was looking his way. He's going to send it downfield. That one is caught by J.J. Jones. 
When it's not Downs, it's somebody else for a big play. Just keeping the play alive with his legs and the eyes watch him. They never stop looking downfield. He feels the pressure, but then it don't just happen when you step on the field in high school or college. This happened much sooner. Third down and two. That one's bobbled and dropped. J.J. Jones couldn't hang on. J.J. Roberts. They've been terrific on fourth down this year. 76%. Best in the league. May. Incomplete and Wake Forest hold. It was fourth and two, fourth and three. That's a focus for this defense, guys. Well, the defense making a big play here on first down. Ellison had no room up the middle. It's going to be a loss of two. I, I feel like he's a, a guy that rides high on emotion. Get him back in this game. Get him in the flow. He can make big plays. Hartman. There it is. There he is. Hits Perry again. That's going to be close to the line to game. Gambling on fourth and one. From the 36 of Wake Forest. Running to the outside is Ellison. Penalty marker down. Ellison's got the first down, but we'll see if the play is going to stand. I think it is. I think this is going to be against North Carolina. In the way these offenses are going back and forth, but you got to think a turnover is going to loom large in a game like this. Another first down is Ellison. He's helping to bring this Wake Forest run game back to life. This is Ellison lead blocking. Go ahead and get some yards. Back to Ellison. And that's how you get it done. Diving ahead close to the 30. And also being able to just chew some clock here. That keeps Drake May in that offense on the sideline. Hartman looking for the end zone. Has Perry. He's got it. Touchdown. But there is a flag. There is a flag and this might be coming back. There is no foul for legal block below the waist. He's off of the play. So here, here's, I guess, what they were looking at with the flag, a low block there. But it was it occurred inside the, the, the tackle box. Right? And it was inside the tackle box, so that's clean. Justice Ellis. Seventh touchdown grab of the year for Perry, junior out of Lake Worth, Florida. And Wake Forest, for the first time tonight, has the lead. And, and he's the guy, when they start to double and give a lot of tension to Josh Downs, the ball goes to him. Now he's not in the game. Play fake. May steps up. Oh, what a shot. It's Copenhaver in stride. 14 of the 24 completions for May have been for 10-plus yards. Looking for a strike here. That's another big play. Ball comes out at the end. And they're going to rule it incomplete. Oh, they're going to rule him down. They're going to rule him down. First, first, first I'm sure down. they're going to look at this again. They're going to mark him down at the 15. Ball's put on an absolute dime. Up top high where only his six foot five could become tricky. I mean, that wind is blowing directly across into where they would be kicking. Yeah, it just started picking up as Green lowers his head. And he'll get it to the five, and just enough, just enough for a first down. Elijah Green to the right of May. They fake the handoff. May, naked boots. He's dangerous. Look out, touchdown. Drake May. Well, the Heisman committee take notice of this young man. Two-point conversion, not successful. A great job on the touchdown again may just keeping himself just finds a way just sneaks through he just needs a little bit of room and you see the athletic ability may is going to sneak up under his center gainer drake may a little pitch green can he cut the corner diving he did not get there so the two-point conversion fails in the wake forest defense with another big play. So first and ten. Wake Forest has it here. 5.20 to go. Third quarter. Sam Hartman. Complete. Strike to Donovan Green. You know, nine turnovers in the last two weeks. Yeah, he's 23 years old. He's seen about everything. And that just helps calm the rest of his team down. Now he's going to go deep down the middle of the field. Looking for Green. Got him in stride. Goodbye. Touchdown. Donovan Green. 60 yards. And that 
That's his second touchdown tonight. Decides to now bring pressure. They bring six. And what does that mean? No safety help in the middle of the field. And look where Donovan Green runs it. Beautiful catch. They send Williams in motion. Hartman, plenty of time to throw this time. And that's knocked away, incomplete. So the two-point conversion for the Demon Deacons fails. Elijah Green will flare out to the right. Drake May hopping around. Now he's going to run it to the near sideline. It's a gain of four for Drake May. I just think the way Elijah Green has just captured that number one tailback spot, they're going to ride him tonight. Good pass protection and another strike. Here's Pesor out to the logo at the center of the field. You'll, you'll stay on the field if you can. The big moments of the game, they're going to pull you out of there. Escaping again is May. Tucks it into plus territory and angles out at the 39-yard line. Drake May. A sixth sense about him. He, he senses he's able to get around the left side there and there's nobody home. And just nothing but green grass out there. And again, just the, the deceptive speed by Drake May. May will flare it out to green. He's got it. Puts it back inside the 30. Tries to get around a tackler. And he's down at the 26-yard line. He's downs in the slot. Here comes the rush. May again slides right through it. Big run for Drake May. Gives himself up inside the 10. No flag. J.J. Roberts punishing hit at the end of this run for May. You, you see the Red Sea open up here. No one in the middle of the field. Everyone's out covering. This will be the 10th play of the drive for North Carolina. As they try to go back in front. Elijah Green in the backfield to the right of May. It will be Green. Gets hit and gets thrust back. They're going to go for it here on fourth and goal. Do you like this call, Rod? I, I think he just feels like he's got to outscore this team. And it's tipped and it's incomplete. And Wake Forest stands. Isaiah Wingfield. Number eight, the cornerback at a hand. Second down and seven. Early stages of the fourth quarter. Wake leading by one. It is Cooley again. Look at this. Quentin Cooley spinning to the 20 and thrown out of bounds at the 21. Two series per game while well, he's making use of his time. And now with the big stop here, it's North Carolina's defense. Big third down here. Wake Forest trying to stay on the field. Sam Hartman. The blitz. As good as they come. Passes through the blitz. He's got the first down and more. It's Taylor Moore. Moore. One man to beat. He's pushed out near the 25-yard line. Centerville, Virginia. It's a zero blitz. They bring seven. How do you get a defense out of a zero blitz and bring in seven? You hit him with a big play. No safety help. Hit more him for a big play. Ellison again. Weaving his way into the second level. And he's down at the 17. Chris Collins, the Jack linebacker for the Tar Heels, makes the stop. But it's going to be a first down. Big third down and three in the red zone. And it's Ellison again. And this time he's going to be knocked down at the 10. No game. Can they convert here? Morin goes in motion. Hartman with backside pressure steps up. Trying to escape. Ball comes out. It's recovered by Wake Forest. Ball run down their throat and on fourth down. Come up with a huge play. I think that was Power Eccles. Let's give another look at it. The biggest defensive yeah, play of the me. night yeah, for Carolina. It's came in Rucker. He's been... Feeling on that back since he's been back out there. This top of the screen. First down and more, Elijah Green. North Carolina scored on four of six drives in the first half. They've scored on just one of four here in the second half. Morin calls for the fair catch at the 23. The defense has been so key here in the second half for the Demon Deacons. Christian Turner on first down as a late flag comes into the backfield from the center jump. Three of 11. 
They've been great on fourth down with, with that said. And that's going to be a flag. Look at this. I mean, who would have thought, right? The rushing Deacons. <laughs> oh, it's intercepted. Cameron Kelly, the safety, bringing it back. And the turnovers rearing the ugly head again for Wake Forest. I guess with two powerful offenses going back and forth, these games likely come down to a turnover late, and Sam Hartman just did not see the defender come right in front. And you, and you talk about the three interceptions he had last week, the nine turnovers in the last two games. He's been so clean. With 4.20 to go. Great field position to start this drive. Here comes some pressure stepping up. May has an open man. It's Downs. Cuts back. Now to the sideline. He gets loose. And he's pushed out at the five. 43-yard play. May to Downs. I mean, in between plays... Josh Downs is walking around like an old man out there with his back. <laughs> and then when the play is called, the gun goes. Down to two. And get it off. May pumps. Now to his left. Now puts on the blinker and comes to the right. And he's dropped in the backfield by Chase Jones. DJ Jones to the left of May. Here comes the pressure. It's picked up. Now May again. Throws it away. There was nothing downfield. Nothing. 33-yard attempt. And the go-ahead points. Into his back. Kick is up. Line drive is good. And North Carolina has the lead with 2-12 to play. Second and 20 now for Wake Forest. From inside the 15-yard line. Hartman throws. That's caught by Donovan Green. Tries to escape a tackle and can't. Pulled down by Grimes. See if North Carolina is going to bring pressure on Hartman. Drop out. Pressure picked up. Hartman unleashes, and it's tipped. And incomplete. Going for it with his offense on third down. Pressure, here it is. Could be the game. Hartman going the wrong way. Another penalty flag down, and it's almost intercepted. And Wake Forest still has three timeouts here. Elijah Green... On first down, and there's that first timeout called by Wake Forest. First down here, and it's not going to matter. May under center. May lunging, and they got it. They got it this time. There's Mac Brown. His 274th career win, his 99th as head coach at North Carolina over two stints, shaking hands.